Every year, the smell of smoke strikes fear into the hearts of Australians. Whether you're in a rural town or in the centre of a city, the acrid smell is a warning that the fire season has begun. Bushfires have shaped the Australian landscape for many years, but with urban expansion and changing weather patterns, the threat to homes and families is increasing. The trauma inflicted by bushfires has left a permanent scar on the Australian psyche. In 1983, Ash Wednesday saw 180 fires rage across two states. This disaster fundamentally changed emergency services. They improved radio networks, created single command centers, and established linkages between existing rural and city firefighters. But weather plays a crucial role in the ferocity of the blaze and how it is graded using the Forest Fire Danger Index. High winds and intense heat are a deadly combination. In 2003, extreme weather conditions caused a firestorm in Canberra, burning hundreds of homes and thousands of acres of forest. In 2009, the Black Saturday disaster recorded 400 individual fires in a single day in the state of Victoria, resulting in the nation's highest ever loss of life from a bushfire, 173 people dead and 414 injured. We are currently in White River, a town on the beautiful Great Ocean Road, where over 100 homes were lost in a fire over Christmas last year. The list of communities devastated by bushfires is long. But bushfires are not just an Australian phenomenon. Known as wildfires in North America, these infernos are no less lethal, as the residents of Fort McMary in Canada will confirm. Tens of thousands of residents fled their homes this May as a wildfire threatened the oil city, destroying more than 2,000 homes and buildings and shutting off nearly a quarter of Canada's oil production. The risk posed by these fires is not in decline. In the 1980s, emergency services rethought their response to fires. At IBM, we are rethinking the way we can use data to enable the timely prediction of fire risk. We know that being able to predict the risk of damaging events like fires is crucial in helping emergency services mitigate and reduce the impact of such events. We propose a data-driven approach to predict fire risk to be used alongside current fire rating systems. Thanks to the Internet of Things, sensors and their networks, there is a huge amount of historical data available to us. Our cognitive context-based fire risk model takes into account a myriad of fine-scale data with large variations using anomaly detection techniques which can be customized to different regions. It maintains multiple historical models for different temporal variations and uses ensemble learning techniques to predict wildfire risk with high accuracy. At IBM, we are using big data to solve big problems. We are using data to understand fire risk to create appropriate risk models based on weather and ultimately to save lives. Join me, Mahsa Salehi, for a deep dive into our dynamic and robust wildfire risk prediction system at this year's KDD.